Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to look at a simple classic wedding bouquet. So this is really the kind of Meghan Markle effect. And uh, if you watched the royal wedding and you liked her bouquet, then this isn't an exact copy because we don't have Lily of the Valley and we don't have one or two things, but it's going to give you a very similar effect. And really the key thing that came out from her bouquet was the use of a stilby. So you really had a very soft, floral, summer or, or late spring summer sort of wedding bokeh and the, the astilbe was very much the key flower in that. So we've got some astilbe, I've got a little bit of asparagus, a little bit of alstroemeria, veronica, some beautiful little white spray roses. I've also decided to use some eustoma. Um, so as I say this isn't an exact replica but we can take inspiration so that you don't have any uh, debacle with a floral arrangement when you come to your wedding. So Essentially, I've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of pistache, and that's the main little thing that I'm going to use as a a base. And we're just going to start building up. So let's bring these together. So realistically, I think looking at her bouquet, there was a lot of the uh, still be going on round the edge. But we still need to bring a little bit of that still be into the center of the bouquet. So I'm just going to build this up in my hand. And then really, if you were doing this for yourself, you can add whatever flowers that you really, really love. If you've got a nice guy like Harry, then you can get your other half to go and pick some flowers to go in your bouquet on the day. The reason I use the pistache is I think traditionally royal bouquets, they always have myrtle in them. Now, I don't have any myrtle, but the pistache would give you a similar sort of a look. And the Veronica I quite like just because it gives you again a little bit of a difference in texture. But really our key flower here is going to be these little spray roses. So really I'm just looking, I've got three stems of roses here and really just having them in a symmetrical way is really working well for holding this bouquet together and making it look balanced. So now just bring in the Lysianthus. So what we're wanting to do is get a really nice spiral effect down here. And the one thing that came across with our bouquet as well was it wasn't really full of greenery. It wasn't full of foliage. So for all they said that it had a few different things in it, like uh, forget-me-nots, you wouldn't have looked at the bouquet and seen that as a key flower. It might have been in there really just so that they knew it was there and it was special for that reason. So we've got our main body of flowers. And now really it's just a case of coming around the edge and just using this final astilbe to create a little bit of a collar for our design. So I'm just looking, yeah, we've got a nice balance. Actually I quite like, it looks nice and fresh and quite straightforward. So, now we're just going to tie this off. I got I've one or two little roses actually, so don't like to waste things. Again, I can put, so these came off the spray ones, but they were going to be sitting in the wrong way. It's not a problem putting in shorter stems, as long as you, when you're holding the bouquet until it's required, things are in water, or the flowers are in water. So I'm just tying this with our twine. So I've gone around it two or three times. And I'm just bringing the stems together. Now this is where it's important that your stems are nice and clean. And just tying it off again, lower down. So this is really creating the handle for your bouquet. So we've got our bridal bouquet. Now, a lot of this stem is really just in the way, so we can get rid of that. I 
I would put this in water, but we're going to finish off the handle first. Um, and then on the day, you would then cut it to the length that you want. So I would suggest you probably want it to be about this length and we lose this stem. But I would keep these stems just now while we keep the bokeh. So to finish the handle, I've got some, this is double sided tape. So this is the type of tape you might use for sticking down a carpet. And it is see-through and it works really, really well. So if we cut ourselves a little length, so I want a piece that I know will go around the handle. And then we come around till it meets itself. And this is important because this makes it very easy then to peel off that backing. Now, this means that when we are wrapping our bokeh, we can basically walk away and uh, answer the phone or do whatever we need to do. And we don't need to worry. Now, she had a couple of tails on her bokeh. So we can just pop them in just now. So I'm literally just going to put that in like that. And then we're going to take our ribbon and start wrapping. So here I want to go over the start and then just work my way up. ideally neatly. It's quite difficult because the stems are never perfectly flat or perfectly straight. And here I can even just put a wee turn on this just to bring it back to there. So we're going to trim that. And where we've got that, I'm going to fold it over. Now I've got some beautiful Diamante pins. So here we're just going to put one in the middle if it doesn't bend. This is the problem with pins nowadays, they really seem to just bend. I think a lot of the time they're not, it's not so much the pin that's the problem, it's the point. And we only really need maybe three pins in there. So we've got a really nice finish and we've got the tails. And then on the day, we would just finish this off by cutting it to length and there you have the perfect wedding bouquet with a bit of Markle sparkle and uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's wedding inspired bouquet or royal wedding inspired bouquet and uh, really just picking up on the key thing which is the stilby that's in the bouquet to give that look. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos then click here to subscribe.